Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly message. So it does feel like some of you during this week will be in need to clear some things uh, from your past. Uh, things that show as being more negative, um, you know, influences that are still kind of dragging you or influencing you and the way you look at yourself at your present time and future opportunities. I feel like you have a lot of baggage. Some of you have a lot of baggage coming from past energy that you have been in need to, uh, you know, let go and, and release. And for some reason, this week presents here a chance for you to really take seriously a matter that maybe you have not been taking seriously. Um, because it's like, I see some of the Capricorns, it's almost like some of you don't care about it. Like, you don't care about the shadows. You don't care if you have negative energy. You don't care if you have negative, again, uh, patterns that keep you from evolving or certain situations in your life, including your relationships, to improve. And this energy of almost, like, not caring is different from accepting your shadows and accepting your past. I actually, I actually feel like the Capricorns I'm connecting with are completely dismissive of the fact that they um, those matter and they affect the quality of everything in their life. So what I'm feeling here is some of you will be uh, kind of doing some sort of conscious shadow work or some of you that feel like there's a lot of kind of this vibe of being um, haunted by memories, by dreams, by people of your past, or uh, if you feel haunted yourself and you don't know why, if you feel like you can't let go of something that it's um, kind of almost like an obsession, whatever it is in your case, those are markers and points here that some of you are being pushed to confront certain shadows and properly integrate them into your um into your conscious self so that they don't have so much power when they remain subconscious and denied. I also feel like some of you, this is about confessing and coming to terms with past actions that in which you might feel like you were wrong or you were weak or you didn't, you know, um, you didn't do something uh, right or wisely. I keep getting like some of you maybe were not as wise as now you are and you look at that immaturity or you look at that irresponsibility with really bad eyes and like uh, almost like, again, denying that that was you. So I feel like the energy of surrendering and releasing at the same time to what was so that, yes, a different story can start to happen because you can be wiser but still without accepting fully... Um, what happened to you before, what whatever things you have done before that you feel guilty by, if you don't, um, you know, if you don't accept them and hold them as part of your story with a natural um, behavior, how much wisdom can stem from that? You know, if you, you can consider to be wiser in terms of not repeating certain mistakes, but still, you're not applying wisdom. Uh, if you're not accepting your faults, your mistakes as part of you, of your story, but not making you you, the new you you are today. I just feel like some of you also need a lot of um, redefinition, right? Like training yourselves to um, understand how things truly need to impact you, right? If just, it, just because you accept them or you embrace them or how things really define and impact you if you keep resisting them and denying them. I feel, I feel like some of you Capricorns, especially during this week, you might be very stubborn and excessively demanding when things are not going your way. But then again, feeling like there's a part of your life or a part of your own self that cracks under that, you know, under that high demand energy. It could be hugely like a, a super perfectionist vibe as well. Or, you know, nothing is right. Nothing you're doing is right. Nothing anyone around you is doing right. So be mindful. Those are, again, tapes, negative tapes that are being displayed from subconscious forces to push you to look at what is really upsetting you about something not being 100% right but being 99 
because I see that a very high demand force with you and others of you is just you're just having a hard time with empathy I feel like your personal relationships might be really suffering from this like some of you actually are very work focused on work and finances and getting things right getting things together things that have been a little bit scattered uh, in terms of finances and work you're trying to work that our area of life first and foremost it's like that's where your main goal or, or attention seems to be but your relationships a personal one seems to be uh, kind of suffering you have this energy of lack of empathy you might not know or have a hard time you know again accepting other people's mistakes flaws um, there are differences from you, the way they communicate, the way they create, the way they, they, they express themselves. A hard time with differences or a hard time with what you see in others that is wrong, but you don't see yourself uh, in you. You know what I mean? You're like you're projecting all the wrongs to the outside because you have a hard time looking at your own. So I, I just keep getting like some of you are really... Uh, struggling with this and some of you again your personal relationships are suffering and I see some of you Capricorns that are you know uh, together with someone um, there's a lot of tears here so coming from you coming from your partner a lack of uh, emotional um, satisfaction and some also some healing here some purging that needs to happen emotionally because I feel like your relationships are not as even if you have started a recent one um, like uh, recently um, the baggage of the past is, is is again very heavy so you might have started a new relationship but still not be able to give yourself to this relationship or interact with this partner or person in a way that feels much different from previous dynamics in which you have been involved with so i hope you have a great week if you would like to have a personal reading with me please contact me through the email i put in the description box below for the month of august as usual i have the special uh sales offer available and both are inspired in this leo theme season we have been on if you'd like to know more details about that or any other of my services, again, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. Have a great week and hopefully we'll see each other soon.